Paws off. Paws off. That's a good boy. Okay. I'm gonna lay down, all right? Good morning, vlog. Well, it has been a while since I picked up <coughs> this camera, and I have just been super busy. Um, As you can see at my last vlog, I got a puppy whose name is Sherlock, who is right here, and hey, Bubby. As anybody who has ever owned a dog will know, the first few weeks with a dog is pretty hectic, especially with a puppy. Um, but if it's a service dog in training, it's even more hectic because basically we are connected 24 seven. I'm just constantly near this dog and constantly working with him and training him like four times a day because he's a puppy so we do multiple little training sessions instead of one big one. He is just constantly learning and being very stubborn right now. Sherlock, hey, leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. So yeah, I was just insanely busy for like two weeks, two to three weeks, and then um, things kind of started to cool down a little bit as Sherlock got into a routine and he's gotten really good. He thinks that this is really weird, by the way, so he's very confused. Um, he's gotten into a routine, he's gotten really good at listening to his commands, so I can correct him quickly. But then, my port got infected, or rather, my skin around my ports. I got a localized infection right as I was thinking I was gonna start vlogging again. And that knocked me down for about a week and a half. I've just been really sick. I've been on, well, I am still am on antibiotics. And I had to go off my fluids for like four days because I got so swollen around the catheter that we weren't really able to push saline through and stuff. So all of that has just left me pretty drained. Um, I'm finally towards the end of my antibiotics and back on my fluids and feeling a little bit better so I think I can probably start vlogging again um, but I'm still recovering from going I think I went like three and a half days without my fluids which I know doesn't sound like a lot considering that I was without fluids for seven months but um, when I don't have the fluids I, I get really sick and I have a lot more pain a lot more allergies and just a lot more problems so my body's still kind of rehydrating I really obviously wanted to bring you guys along for this training journey with um, we I call him Tonka truck is his nickname because his actual name is his focus command so if you're training a dog and you want them to look at you you often say focus but for me because of my cognitive issues I did um, with Rudy I did that and I found that it was just really difficult for me. I leaned more towards saying his name than focus. So that's what I did with Sherlock. I just taught him his name is focus. So sometimes when I'm talking about him, I'll say Tonka Chuck instead of his name, um, just so as not to confuse him. He likes to lay on his back. It's like his favorite position. And um, him and Rudy get along like they're friends. But the problem is that since Sherlock's on the leash all the time and Rudy is not, Rudy wants to play chase me and Sherlock can't because rightfully so he is three times the size of Rudy already. So um, <clears throat> for example right now Rudy's in my bedroom just kind of chilling out and I'm dealing with Sherlock and most of the time someone in my family is taking care of Rudy um, and then I try to spend time with him whenever I can when Sherlock's sleeping or um, you know at night obviously Rudy still sleeps with me in bed so that's been pretty hectic too. But um, as far as training goes, we've been going really good. We have a trainer about an hour away that we see um, what we were doing once a week, but now it's probably going to be tapering because I, I'm really just using the trainer to consult with when I have a problem because most of the training I can just do on my own. I don't really need help. I just I needed someone to be able to evaluate my dog when I felt like there was something going wrong and someone that could give me, you know, reassurance um when i had like hey this is how i want to train him to do this someone that could be like yeah that's totally fine or no i wouldn't trade a dog to do that so um yeah he's been doing training with his trainer we've been to two sessions so far which isn't a lot considering that i've had him for like a little under a month now um but obviously i do training with him at home so he's got plenty of practice he knows a bunch of tricks i guess already or commands. Anyways, I'm probably boring you guys with all this talking, so I will just try to show you 
um, you know, what my days look like. I am still recovering from my port infection. So, as you can probably tell from the wonderful dark circles under my eyes, I basically just spend most of the day laying on the couch right now, and then I gather my energy to do training with my dog, and then I lay back on the couch, such as chronically ill life. So, you know, um, the next three days I'm going to just be resting, because this week I had a lot of doctor's appointments, and Sherlock had a vet appointment, and we were just... It was pretty crazy, but I will hopefully catch you guys up slowly on what's been going on and you guys can see what my little Tonka truck has been up to. Right, buddy? You you enjoying laying like that? Is that comfortable? Is that a comfortable way to lay? All right. That's cool. All right. Hey, that's not yours. Give it. I've completely forgotten to pick up the camera for most of the day. I'm going to have to get back used to like picking up the camera anyways not much has happened I tried to eat some food but my stomach's nauseous so ended up not eating anything but I did finally get around to starting my fluids so I have a pump obviously so I put it in a bag but my mom and I went out and got an IV pole so that when I'm laying here on the couch with this little guy I have a place to put my bag other than my wheelchair because if it's on my wheelchair and he can nip at the tubing and stuff, which is normal puppy shenanigans, right? And we're trying out these reusable... I, yes, I see. That is the camera. We're trying out these reusable puppy pads. So, obviously, since my house doesn't have steps, which you guys have seen, I can't take Sherlock Potty out myself. I need help, and it's like a 20-minute process. Um... So right now that he's a puppy and he needs to go out very often, as in multiple times an hour, he goes pretty much exclusively on the piddle pads, which he does pretty well. He knows now that's where he's supposed to go, and he goes there pretty consistently. Um, the only annoying thing is they're like the non-reusable ones are really expensive, the disposable ones, I guess, are really expensive, and you use multiple ones a day because he's so big. We have to get like the biggest size they have. So I convinced my parents to try reusable ones because it's good for the planet and it's good for your wallet. So, you know, win-win. Um, so we're testing these out, but they seem to be working really well so far and he thinks they're the same exact thing. He doesn't even, like, mind them because he's so chill. But yeah, um, you know, I did some morning training with him this morning, but I haven't really done any other training yet. I did a five-minute down stay, but that's about it. So, yeah, pretty lazy day for me. I have a really bad headache, and my neck is just majorly hurting from all of the driving that I had to do this week, so I'm just resting up and watching some Netflix. Sherlock, come! Good boy. He's a good recall. So I just finished talking to Nate for the night because he is off at college, which you guys should know, I think. I told you guys that. Anyways. I was gonna go to the living room, because that's where Sherlock and I spend most of our time, but my Apple Watch just told me that my heart rate is 183, so I guess I'm gonna lay back down right now and wait a bit before I do a bunch of movement. I, I guess I can't really lay down all the way, because I just took my antibiotic and I'm supposed to like sit up for 10 minutes or so after taking it. Anyways, I have like a bunch of neck pain from... Just a lot of appointments I've had this week, so I haven't been feeling great today, hence why the vlog has been pretty boring. He's sleeping right now. Sherlock! Hey, come! Oh, that's a good boy! Hi, baby! Hey! They always come when you call. There's a big snozz for you. There's a big snozz. Do you have anything you want to tell the people? Here's, here's something new that he learned. He learned this somewhat recently. Ready? Kiss. Aw, oh, thank you. Because I thought it was really cute. It's his little kiss command. And he actually does it without the word kiss. I can just purse my lips at him and he'll do it. But yeah, he's a cuddly little bugger. Don't gnaw on my hand. You know that's not allowed. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Look at the little tails. What's up with this? What's up with the soggy tails? Oh, there's this happy tail. All right, to the living room we go. Ooh, my hair is a mess and I look like 
crap, but that's okay. I'm gonna end the vlog tonight, um, right now, because we're getting ready for bed. Sherlock's right now running outside, getting his last zoomies in. If you don't know what zoomies are, clearly you've never owned a dog. Um, but yeah, I feel like there probably wasn't much stuff in the vlog today because there's really not much to tell, even though I've been gone for three weeks. I'm basically just really sick and sitting at home. I was gonna show you guys something interesting. I mean, I think it's interesting. Maybe it's boring, but um, so I'm super sensitive to medications. So unlike a lot of people with chronic illnesses, I do not take a lot of medications. So on a daily basis, the amount of medications I take looks like this. The little ones with the teal check mark are the ones that I take. And one of those is just a supplement. So uh, that's because I react to basically <laughs> everything on a maintenance basis for longer than a few weeks but since I'm fighting an infection and I have to take a bunch of antibiotics I have to I'm taking a bunch of other meds to help kind of help me tolerate the antibiotics I guess so lately my medication list has looked a lot more like this which is a lot for me so um yeah and then that's just the way that app is set up. Basically, I, I take several capsules and I put it in as one medication. So I've been taking a lot of meds, um, which is fine. It's like chronically ill life, but it's it's really rough on my system. So I get a lot of stomach aches and stuff. I just, um, yeah, my body just doesn't like medications. But I'll be done with this antibiotics pretty soon. And hopefully I'll be back to feeling a little bit better until then it's just a lot of rest for me so that's what I'm going to do and I'm gonna go get Sherlock back from inside and get Rudy from my sister because he's upstairs hanging out with her and then just go to bed yeah that's that's basically it that's my day so thank you for watching today's vlog I'm sorry I've been gone for a while but I'm gonna try to get back into vlogging forgive me if I miss a few days here and there things are kind of hectic and I might be uploading the vlogs more in the afternoons than like in the mornings maybe in the evenings will be my uploading time frame but anyways I will see you guys tomorrow good night